When creating professional high quality publications, it's important that the layout looks neat. If objects on your page are not lined up correctly, it will make your publication look untidy. In PagePlus, you can use dynamic guides and snapping to ensure that objects on your page are aligned correctly. We'll look at this now. Snapping simplifies the aligning and positioning of objects by magnetising moved or resized objects to the edges of already placed objects, page margins and ruler guides. To begin, you'll need to ensure that snapping is switched on. On the standard toolbar above your page, you can toggle snapping on and off. From the drop-down arrow, ensure that Dynamic Guides is checked. This will help us line up objects on the page later. Both Snapping and Dynamic Guides are enabled by default. Let's start by adding a picture. From the Tools toolbar on the left, open the Picture flyout and choose Import Picture. Navigate to your pictures and select the one you want to use. Then click Open. First, click to place the picture at its default size. At the moment, there are no other objects on the page, so we can only line up the picture in relation to page margins. This is useful for making sure that everything will fit on your page when it's printed. To resize your picture, drag the resize handles. You will see the blue margins appear as you drag. Now we can add a text frame. From the Tools toolbar, select Standard Text Frame. As you drag the crosshair cursor to your page, you'll see the page margins appear. This time, there is an object on the page, so dynamic guides, always shown as red lines, appear too. Here, I've aligned the text frame with the bottom edge of the picture, and also the top and the left page margins. This frame is therefore perfectly aligned. To make it easier to see where everything is positioned, I'll fill this frame with placeholder text by clicking F5. Now we can add another text frame. This will be positioned below the first text frame and align with its right edge. I'll fill this with placeholder text too. I'd like to add a third text frame. This will be positioned below the picture so I'll need to line it up with the left and right edges of the picture, and then to the horizontal centre of the left text frame. As there are more objects on the page, more dynamic guides appear to help align the text frame. As you can see, the page looks clean, and all of the text frames are aligned correctly. I think the publication needs some more pictures. This time, when I navigate to my pictures, I'll hold down the control key so I can select two at the same time. Then I'll click open. Now I can draw out the pictures one after the other. I will align the first picture with the existing text frames. I want this second picture to be the same size as the first picture, but I don't want to have to manually set the size. Notice that the dynamic guides appear to help me line up the second picture, both with the existing picture and the text frame above. I can now move this picture slightly to the right to snap to the page margin. On the Transform tab, you can see that the width and height of both the pictures is exactly the same. In PagePlus, the last five selected objects at any one time can be used to dynamically snap to. To demonstrate this, I'll draw out a quick rectangle from the Quick Shapes flyout. The shape aligns to the text frame and the smaller pictures directly above, but won't align to the objects right at the top of the page. This is because these are the oldest objects that were added to the page. As you can see, I can still line up my Quick Shape to the top, left and right page margins. You will always be able to line up your object to the page margins as long as snapping is switched on. If you want to override snapping, for example for abstract positioning, hold down the ALT key while you drag. None of the red dynamic guides appear. I'm happy with the alignment of the objects on my page, so now I'll just add some finishing touches. 
That's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful and now have a better understanding of dynamic guides and snapping and how they can be used when creating publications. To find out more about PagePlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching!